Okay, Sheikh. We have a question uh, from some online viewers about praying while flying. Uh, can you give some tips to pray outside at airports or inside airplanes? Also, what if one has to make wudu on an airplane during a long flight other than wearing wudu socks? Is there any other dispensation? Yeah, so um, I've never ever felt comfortable giving, telling people that it's okay to pray standing, uh, to pray, excuse me, sitting on planes. I know you'll find those fatwas out there. Uh, what I would say is, is that do your best to pray standing. If for some reason, like, yeah, the seatbelt sign is on and you're about to land and the prayer time just came in, then I would say, okay, pray in your seat and then make it up after. Uh, but alhamdulillah, that my wife and kids, we always pray standing on planes, um, unless that for some reason that we're unable to do so, or at least we try to. Um, so I think prayer has to come first. And alhamdulillah, the only planes that I've ever not been able to stand up on it was always a Muslim plane, which is really strange. I've never had a problem ever praying standing on a non-Muslim plane. Um, and I, it's, you know, I think, you know, it is what it is. But I would recommend that, uh, you know, and obviously if you're flying on a smaller plane from like a smaller city to another smaller city, it might not be possible to stand up. If that's the case, you pray sitting and then you make up your prayer after. Uh, so I would say that try first and foremost to, even if you have to pay a little bit more, to select your flights according to prayer. Okay, so last time I was here that we ended up flying back and we did a red-eye flight. What we realized is that we would have to pray Fajr on the plane. So we went through Chicago intentionally. So Fajr came in, we prayed Fajr, and then caught the connecting flight after that. Uh, and it worked out that way. And so try to arrange your flight schedule so that you can pray. We give prayer, you know, preference. And oftentimes we can do that. Uh, so then uh, let's just say you're traveling to like Australia. It's like the classic one for me is because you end up going to have to pray like four or sometimes five prayers on the plane. Um, you still have to pray. And it's fairly easy to determine the Qibla based upon the flight maps. Uh, and you determine the Qibla and if there's a place for you to pray, just ask them kindly, say, I need to pray. And usually that it's facilitated in that, yes, it's very good for both men and women to invest in a pair of wudu socks. There's many kinds now. They used to only be available in like uh, some Islamic bookstores and stuff, but now they're even on uh, Amazon, like Randy Sun is a good brand. Uh, and they all seem to probably have the same, uh, they just probably relabel them. They seem to be the same manufacturer. Anyhow. Uh, I would invest in a pair of those, make sure you have wudu when you put them on, and then it's so much easier. Uh, but even then, like, if you have to make wudu and put water on your feet, I, I would just recommend just getting the floor wet. So just make wudu, right? Uh, getting the floor a little bit wet, and then just drying it at the end. Definitely dry it. And so what I, I, the times that I've had to wash my feet in the plane, you just put water in your hand, put your foot over the toilet, wash your foot again, use water again, and then it's totally doable. And then at the end, make sure you clean it up so you don't leave it dirty. You just wipe it all up, uh, and it's possible to do, although it's a little bit difficult. Uh, the only plane I've seen that has a drain is Saudi Arabian Airlines, which is really nice, because then they actually have a drain in the ground because they know people are making wudu on it, which is really helpful. Um, but that's what I would recommend, uh, is to plan your prayers, uh, plan your flights accordingly, and then to try to remain in a state of wudu if possible, wear socks, uh, find a nice place, and that prayer your prayer is standing, definitely, if you're able to do so.